Hi, in this video we're going to talk about use case diagrams. Now the term use case covers more than just the diagram and it is a part of the software development process but in this subject for VCE software development we really only look at the use case diagrams rather than the entire process. So I've pulled up two diagrams here because neither of them have all of the features that I want to discuss. Let's start with the one on my left over here and this has some key features that I want to explain to you. That line around it, that represents the system. So that is people and the people on the outside are actors. So this is a restaurant, so we have a waiter interacting with the system, we have a client interacting with the system and we have a cashier interacting with the system. Over the other side we have a chef um, interacting with the system. Sometimes these actors can be other systems, they don't have to be people. So you might even have another actor who is their bank or their billing company, you know, the credit card company. And generally speaking, the actors that are not customer facing or user facing are on this side. So you could actually just as easily have these two actors on this side, but I don't think it's a hard and fast rule, but I think it's one of the conventions. So that line there is the system boundary. Each one of these is a use case or it is an action that somebody can do. And it's represented in an oval or a circle. And we have those lines there which are associations. So there's somebody who d directly does that. Um, and so that's what those lines there represent. Now, the last thing I want to show you in this diagram is this extend here. And I want to refer particularly back to something that Zach has said in class, which I really like, and I think we got it off one of the videos, is that if you sneeze, then an include is something you have to do with it, and an extend is saying bless you, um, where it's optional. You can be, can be involved in it. And this diagram only has extend, so I might order food, and I might just order wine. Apparently in this case I can't just order wine, which might be true in a restaurant. Uh, likewise, uh, serve wine might go with serving food, but they're not serving wine separately. So that's about whether something is optional or not. Uh, down here in this one, which is why I've got two diagrams, this does include the um, include. So we have an include there with an arrow going that way. So the arrow going out is an include, and the arrow coming in is something that is optional and might sometimes be involved in it. The other thing that I want to point out in here is that that there, the international student having an arrow up to the student, means that that's a generalisation. So they might be, for instance over here, we might have a new client or we might have a returning client. But a returning client would be a subset of the clients, just as an international student would be a subset of the students. So that's about all that you need to know in terms of the exam for use cases. I hope that's cleared up any confusion that you have.